Okay, hopefully the, this will hold on long enough for me to get this done. Um, so, we know our black rabbit came from a black and a chocolate. It doesn't matter if it's doe or buck. But the black rabbit that I have showed you came from these two parents. The black was capital B. The chocolate we know is two lowercase b's. This is lowercase b is the only thing that this rabbit here could have transmitted. So we know, based off of pedigree information, off of these parents, that this rabbit is marked this. Uh, we also know on our chocolate otter that the chocolate otter came from a chocolate and a chocolate otter parents. Okay, this one being a T, we don't know, and we know this one being a A. Because this rabbit ended up being an otter, we know that this letter here is A, okay, based off of these parents. So by breeding these two rabbits together, okay, you have the chance of creating chocolate otter, black otter, chocolate, and black. So two different colors in black otter, two different colors in self. Now this could also translate further down the string, and we'll, we'll get into that when we get into C and D. But right now, we're just talking about the first two locus points of the genetic string, okay? If you have any questions, just, just shoot them over to me, because I, I, I'm sure we'll have some questions. But it's pretty, pretty simple. If you know what the parents are, you're going to have success. Uh, if you don't know what the parents are, you, you may, you're not going to have a clue. But visually, we know what those those two rabbits are just by looking at them at least by the the things that we do know these two things that are underlined here we filled in because we had the information to do so all right don't forget to check uh, the uh, some of the previous episodes and then we're going to go into uh, the sea locust next and that one will take us a little bit of time because there's a lot there to do